Top 10 things to do in Brazil. Buzios. It's a really cool beach town with lots of unique little restaurants. It's by the water, it's chilling, you gotta see it. <laughs> the boat tour around Rio. You can hire a boat and you can do a sunset cruise around Rio. You get to see the sun go down. Totally worth doing it. You can dress up as a captain. You can buy a sailor shirt and you can get white pants, which is what I did. Right. My sailor beer. <laughs> God damn it, Riker! You ruined my white pants! Beach workout stations. Everybody is very big on exercise and fitness in Brazil. Along the beach, you'll find like walkways and paths to either ride your bike or skateboard or jog. People are very big into it. Favelas. If you're in Brazil, you have to check out a favela. We went to one called Rocinho. It's in Rio, about a mile away from the most expensive real estate. And there's about 100,000 people that live there. So this would have been the quote-unquote cheapest place to live, and then one kilometer that way, you can't see it from here, the property's on the beach, 15 million reals, it's about 7, 8 million American for one apartment. The Sugarloaf Mountain. You take a gondola up this mountain and you get to see the entire city from above. A very touristy thing to do, but nevertheless still epic if you've never been to Rio and you want to see the entire city. We are looking down at Rio from really high up. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm dripping. Sweat. I'm <laughs> dripping right now. Cristo. There's one thing that's always going to be looking at you when you're in Brazil. It's a giant statue of Jesus. His wingspan is about 30 to 35 meters, and he's huge, and he's at the top of a mountain. It's a big tourist area, but it's a must-see, must-do. Bikinis and Speedos. Brazil's got a vast array of bikinis, thongs, micro bikinis, and scrunch bikinis. They're all very fantastic to look at. Being a male, I thought I would partake and indulge in maybe having a Speedo of my own, so I got myself a nice bacony looking Speedo, and I hit the beach just to fit in with everyone else. Hiking. Brazil is friggin' massive, and what better way to get a bird's eye view of the city to walk yourself up a nice trail and look at the beaches in the towns below. Capoeira. It's very popular in Brazil, and we were on the streets and had some guys approach us doing some cool moves and funky kicks. We thought we would take part as well, and so I got them to hold the bottle a little bit higher up so I could do a big spinning jump kick and kick the bottle out of his hand across the street at some cars. <laughs> Hang gliding above Rio. You should do this. It takes about three hours for everything to get set up once you're at the top of this mountain and then you have to run off the cliff as fast as you can but then once you're off you're, uh, you're flying for about five or seven minutes and you got the most spectacular view you're seeing the favelas, the beaches, everything from above and you land on the actual beach at the bottom and it's, it's just a cool coasting feeling. Let me tell you my story about Brazil. So we were at the Pacha Club and my friend bet me a whole bunch of money that I wouldn't jump the railing onto the beach and swim out to the island and come back. Please subscribe and watch our video on it. So naturally I took the challenge, jumped the thing down to the beach, swam out to the lake and I guess while I did that the owners or the, the workers at the club thought I was dining and dashing or something on my drinks. So they start yelling at us and yelling at people to kind of like run after us I guess. I had no idea what was being said because it was all in, in speedy Spanish. So I go out, I come back and as I'm approaching the dock I'm climbing back up and there's like a gang of people there I thought maybe were cheering me on. As soon as I kind of put my arms up, boom, get kicked right in the face by some guy who was really pissed off at me and I had no idea why. Then they all start throwing bottles and rocks and whatever they can find at me and I'm like, okay, this is really crazy. So I kind of swim outwards and I try to get back on the shore but they keep following me and are like threatening to basically beat the crap out of me. Uh, eventually the police come and I'm like, okay, cool. It's probably safe for me to get out of the water now because the police are there. More or less, I was right. They took me, they kind of handcuffed me and brought me downstairs into this little basement area of the club and they had a few words with me. I didn't understand very much. Eventually a translator came and we were able to work out our differences. Um, I had to get the boys to come and save me because I was under there by myself and nobody knew me and I was really scared. Um, worst things was uh, a big boot to the face and a mark the next day. Went away shortly. My ego was bruised as well. Uh, I learned a lesson. 
don't mess around in Brazil because even if the people don't know you, if they've got any reason to be upset with foreigners, they will. They'll totally kick you right in the mouth. Okay, go. You go over. No, you walk over. Now you walk. Good enough. Still counts.